Hey y'all, welcome back to our channel, Pom Pom Sisters. I am Shantae, and here in this video, I have my oldest daughter, Kalia, here, where I am attempting to salvage this week old braid out that she's been rocking for a while. So it has been monstrous trying to do my oldest daughter's hair lately. So she has been rocking nothing but either braid outs or twist outs, or her hair has just been in just straight plaits for weeks at a time because it's becoming overwhelming. But before I go any further, if you are new to our channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And to all of my returning subscribers, hey mama, hey bestie, hey friend. It's nice to see you once again. I hope you've been having a beautiful and blessed week. So let's get into this tutorial, right? So I am trying to attempt to do a ponytail with all this hair. So I decided that I was gonna take out, you know, just a small piece in the front, pin it around to the back and it, you know, kind of helps preserve the edges. I'm assuming, I'm not quite sure what, what it's supposed to be serving purpose wise, but this is what I'm doing. So I'm adding in some water to attempt to tame these curls and then I'm brushing it out with a angle teaser. Now I'm going in with some Eco Styler Gel and this is the black castor oil one and, and coconut oil or avocado. God knows, it, it's some kind of oil up in there. All Eco Stylers perform the same to me. I don't care what brand you get, they all act, perform and act the same way. I have not used one and experienced a significant difference from the others. So I'm smoothing it down with a soft brush and I'm pulling it all back and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side of this sweat back bang, pretty much. And once everything has been gelled down, smoothed down, I'm gonna then try to tie it around the back so it is nice and secured and slick down, okay? So we're trying to go for this like slick look, but it is definitely hard to achieve slick when you have such enormous amount of hair. I mean, I don't even know the correct term to describe my daughter's hair, it is ridiculous. And it just seems like it gets thicker and thicker, not longer. Maybe longer wouldn't be so bad, but it's getting thicker and I don't know what to do with her. So here I am trying to tie back her hair in the very back using just a simple ponytail holder. Be careful not to snatch them little baby hairs in the back. Kalia is definitely sensitive in that kitchen area, in the back of that neck, right? The nape of that neck. Anyway, now it's time for the real battle, the real war of this hairstyle. And that's gonna be all that hair in the back. Absolutely, I have to now attempt to put this into one singular ponytail you heard right one singular ponytail because i'm not breaking this down i was pressed for time i think we had somewhere to be a birthday party or something and i was just like baby i'm not about to break this down into 15 sections to put it in one ponytail we about to we about to thug it on out so i grabbed my handy dandy spray bottle and i started spraying and misting trying to i'm hoping that the water's going to you know calm down some of the frizziness that she got going on right now because again this is a week old braid out so this is what this is what homegirl's been going to school with for the most part and she loves it the bigger the better grateful that she embraces the frizz the big hair and she loves the lion's mane but home girl all right my biceps my quads my ankles all of them be hurting after i'm done it's a whole workout trying to do kalia's hair going in with some more eco styler gel slicking it down smooth as much as i can pulling her thoughts and everything into this ponytail because we are gonna make it work with this one go. I'm not breaking it down into no 50 million sections. And then once I have that achieved, I'm then gonna go in with my ponytail holder. So here's my ponytail holder right here and it's a regular one. It's a, the extra large one because again, do you see that amount of hair? Absolutely. And what I do is I wrap it around the base. Now this also helps with keeping it nice and tight. Not too tight though. If it is too tight, loosen it up. And then what I do is I loop it into each other and I pull one side out, wrap it around one more time and then I tuck it up under the ponytail holder to secure it so it don't come loose and that's pretty much it it is so easy and i do it all the time for any ponytail hairstyle that i have to put in kalia's hair i always do the wraparound method rather than the pull through method because ain't no way then i'm gonna go in with some shining gel because eco style gel don't have no kind of hole whatsoever it's just pretty much water it is 90 percent water right so i'm going in with the shining jam because it gives me a little bit more hole and it pairs so well with the eco style gel i don't know what it is eco style and the shining jam it definitely gives you the shine the hold and the slick back. I'm smoothing it out using a fine tooth comb and I'm trying to distribute that gel as much as possible because I don't want to just be sitting on top. And then to for extra security, I even went in with some got to be spray because I was just like, we, we want to make sure this ponytail is going to stay where it's supposed to be. Then I'm taking a silk edge wrap, wrap it around real quick 
And she'll sit with that for 15, 20 minutes, however long it takes me to get the rest of the girls and myself ready. And then I come back and take it off. Here she is all done. I'm peeling back that silk wrap and those edges are nice and silky smooth and straight. And I did it y'all, it is in a single ponytail, amen. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add in some hair accessories because it ain't a hairstyle unless I added some hair accessories. And I'm going in with some snap clips because I am obsessed with these and they are very teen friendly. You can add it to literally any hairstyle. They serve no purpose, just for decoration. And I add three to each side and she is done. We're going to do a quick little spin around for you guys. And y'all see all of that mane back there. And I ain't even bother touching it. Okay. I add no product to it or nothing. I'm going to let that sucker be until her next wash day. But we greatly appreciate having y'all guys here on our hair tutorial. Do not forget to hit that like button. If you would love to see more content like this here on our channel, we greatly appreciate having you here. Be blessed and be safe.